Okay, I need to apologize for the audio right now because I'm standing in the wind and this isn't a GoPro that I'm recording on. But uh, I live on a brush farm and I'm just... It's early for the crop. There might be some leftovers from last year. I doubt it though. I think these are early seedlings that have sprouted. But we've had a very windy, very dry spring. So I'm just looking at this one. Um, it looks to me as though it's dried out too early and, and broke into uh, broke into seed. Um, so I may not be able to use it, but we'll just we're just gonna we're just gonna grab this and uh, see how it looks here. I, yeah. Oops, I'm trying to show it in front of the camera. It's just too close. Yeah, it's too close. Yeah, that's kind of useless. Very short hairs on it. So what I think what I'll do is I'll move along, see if we can find anything else. Um, oh, there we go. There's something. I like that one. Oh, that looks healthy. Oh yeah, that that looks. You know what? I'll bet you that's a number six. That's a number six flat. It's still looking square. The wind hasn't broken too many bristles off of it. Fair looks good. Stem looks good. That's really cool. Cool. That's that's just excellent. Okay, I'm gonna move in on that one. I'll grab that. Again, very sorry about the camera work. It's, it's uh, I know it's terrible, but I'm just gonna grab that. And I'm right next to it. It's kind of interesting, actually. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, there. It's too bad. That that is, I believe, a number two. Um, but again, you can see by the bristles, it, it tried to break into seed too early. It was too dry. As with all plants, uh, you know, they'll start to break into seed uh, prematurely. So you don't get a crop from them. But that's just their natural method of, of survival. And you can see also, actually, the damage from the wind. It's been very windy here lately. So it just kind of, yeah, it just broke it over like uh, like so much of the crop uh, this year so far. And last year as well, actually. Anyway, I'm just going to I'll grab it just to clean it up and we'll move on. Oh, it's too bad. Too bad about that one. I see something else up here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I don't think it's something I do a lot. There. Well, it's a round. You know, I haven't used round brushes for a little while. Well, for months, actually. Uh, certain... I do have some use for them. I just haven't used them lately. But this one looks really good. Like, that looks... My goodness, that looks pristine. Look at that thing. Look at the head on that. It's full. Well, somehow or another, that came to full maturity. It's very ripe. Very ripe. Look at that. Beautiful stem. A lot of protein in that. It'll 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 it'll, it'll, it'll be perfect. Okay, I'm gonna grab that too. Uh, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I just wanted to uh, show you uh, a few of the brushes that I use and and how I collect them. Have a great evening, guys. Bye bye.